Welcome to Main Event Pong Presents Books and Booze with Banshee and Dees. Today, we have two special guest stars on the show. We got Der Wolfie and MMA. And as you can see, today we are reviewing Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. So, uh, we actually just came back from seeing the movie. We've all read the book. Basically, you got a kid. His grandpa told him stories when he was a child and he wasn't sure if they were real or fake. Um, and then plot unfolds, grandpa passes away. After grandpa's death, he finds out stories were real. Enter into a fantasy world where children have extraordinary or peculiar abilities and hygiene ensue following that. So, uh, what you guys wanna start with? Shots. Shots. So first, we we are drinking gin rickies. Uh, we kind of just Googled cocktails from the 1940s. This was something that was very popular. Apparently, F. Scott Fitzgerald drank these all the time. It was his drink of choice. So before we get into this, we are gonna take a shot of gin. You know how the Banshee do. Can I, can to be peculiar. 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 Okay, let me take this shot. I right, took my shot. With Oh, oh God! I need to wash it down natty. with this slim Ricky. You okay? Yeah, let's yeah, do this. Okay. Mm. Salsa water helps Ooh. a little, cuts it. Uh, I, I am warm inside. <clears throat> Goddamn gin. Uh, you guys know how I do. I just burn my esophagus. Let's get into this book a little bit. We just got back from the movie. A lot of differences, like all, like most movie to books, a lot of started. differences. Yes, we're you know we like to yes. we like to theme dress here. Kind of funny, because um, you guys know I go to a lot of book signings, and I do this too. I I wish that somebody would literally make a book exactly word for word like it is into a movie. Obviously, it doesn't usually translate, especially when you consider internal monologue. However, because there was some narration in this, I felt like they could have, but whatever. Um, but it's funny because when I go to these book signings and stuff like that, man, the authors don't give a shit. They don't care. Paid. We care. Yeah. They don't care. They're like, I'm just happy people are reading my shit. Like, yeah, not just getting paid, but that their stuff is getting out there. So, uh, you know, they just seem to be super, um, super excited about it. I did meet Ransom Riggs. He is one of the guys I met at Y'all West. Um, this copy is signed. And this one for another giveaway I'm going to have. So um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, do so because you're missing giveaways. Anyways. Um, Fun story. Why did Ransom like you so, so much? Oh, <laughs> Ransom <laughs> Ransom told me he, I was his favorite person at that convention because I'm the only person who didn't want my books personalized. And it takes a long time to write somebody's name on five different books. <laughs> He's hot, you guys. I'm just saying. But yeah, they, they don't care. We are the ones who are like, oh my god, it was so different from the book. It was. I hated it because it wasn't word for word exactly the same as the book. Yes and no. I kind of, yeah. I'm kind of that person. I, I, I from, like, I've come from, like, we've come from movie backgrounds and we understand how stories have to get changed to work on film. Of course. But... There's things you're like, oh, you have to snip this out, cut that. But when you completely change yeah. stuff, and I'm not talking yeah. about Olive and Emma, I'm talking, there's some big changes. Yeah. But that's where you're like, why? I Like, I understand certain cutting characters or scenes, but certain stuff, you're like, why? Out of all the books I've seen, it's, oh, what? For Ransom, oh, sorry, for Ransom, you guys. For, for all the books I've ever seen become movies, this was the only one I've seen such a dramatic change. This, it's it's a great book. I thought it was a fantastic read. Uh, Banshee told me to read it as fast as I can, killed it off in a week. I made him read it in like really quick. Killed it off in a week, one of the, the fastest lighter. I've ever done because, you know, work and whatever. Mm -hmm. So I'm a big fan of the, the product, but the movie, man, this, I was late. And as soon as I walked in, I was like, am I watching Paragraphs? Am I, am I in, this, am I in the movie I'm supposed to watch? Because this is totally different. So how, how the movie was kind of different is they cut like the first three chapters out. Um, but it, but you know what's funny about that is when I read the book, 
it felt like Big Fish at the beginning. Didn't mm-hmm. it kind of feel like Big Fish yeah, at the beginning? Course, course. So I was like, well, no wonder Tim Burton is directing this. So I kind of feel like they kind of cut that part out of it that felt like Big Fish. And so I feel like almost that that might have been intentional. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, I, we're spending a lot of time on the movie. But if we're going basically on the movie, I like book Jacob more than yeah. movie Jacob. Like, Jacob. Yeah. Movie Jacob, he's more of a loser. Like, yes, in the book, like... He's not like he only has one friend that you know is dis out of not even necessity, but you know like, like they help each other. One of them beats people up. He he kind of know like, who he is as a person. In the movie, it starts off with yeah. instead of him knocking down the the tower of depends, it's like him being <laughs> punked by other yeah. school kids. Like he has nobody, you know. Yeah, because like in he's the, the book, person. he's rich and he works for that you know right. Whatever, yeah. smart aid or whatever it is, Definitely and he didn't want to, there. but he can't get fired because his parent, his parents like own the company. So, um, and then the they movie went with the classic. Show, they, yeah. From what I can tell, like I said, I was like, they went with that classic nerdy kid discovers super how yeah. like that he's different, but in the in the book, he's not really that nerdy kid. You know, he does come from money, he is rich. He's an outsider, more of a, kind of a recluse. But he is still... But he's not, like, how they make him... He's not, like, a popular guy, like, going around making out with chicks and, like, being the football star or anything. I mean, he's a normal guy with a lot of angst. That's one thing I did like, is I felt like movie Jacob was less angsty, but I felt like he also had less depth. Movie Jacob the the one thing I loved in the book, like, even though it's a little weird how Emma latched onto him rather than Abe... But, like, when she, like, brushed her hand against him, I'm like, I'm kind of rooting for this. What? But in the movie, it seems like he's just, like, lurching yeah. for that kiss so much. You're like, come on, But in boy. the book, like, Emma's throwing herself at Jacob. Yeah, that is true, in the book, too. She's, she's throwing it. And Jacob's like, no, back, because yeah. Dude, you think I'm your grandpa. This is kind of too Or my grandpa, close. yeah. But you know how crazy you would be after being locked in the same day for 60-plus years? Oh, yeah. Man, you'd, be, you'd be climbing every tree you could. Yeah. <laughs> so they kind of they <laughs> A new they kind of reverse that, but like I feel like I I get why they did that. You know, in movie they like to like build up to shit like that. Yeah, or why whatever. would they do it and switch the girls? I don't to, that, to the life of me. I don't understand. Yeah, they okay. So basically, what happened in the book is they in in the book in the movie Emma controls the fire and Olive, who is much younger, yeah, can fly. Not even a character and has a second power. For yeah, the air and. Yeah, so she she can fly. So I they for some reason they switched Emma and Olive's powers. It didn't bug me to be honest with you because really like what kind of work in the it movie? It bugged me because she's I mean Emma she's supposed to be have that fire. Like not only does her power fire, but she only uses that fire like twice about, in the book. Like, the representation of her burning love for Abe throughout the ages. Now like is that. <laughs> I don't know, like, well, no, but it, it really sim- matters. It symbolizes, but it symbolizes her, her attitude. Yeah. She's got a fiery attitude. In the book, she almost kills Jake. But, yeah. she, okay, you so know, her's just, a fire, she, she's fiery. Yeah. It doesn't mean, like, the one that controls wind is an airhead. Mm-hmm. I didn't say that, but it's just they took a character who was a, a minute character and switched her with a powerful character. Yeah. I think they you know, did just, it because they're was, like, like, why bother? I think they did it because they're like, oh look, she can fly, it's so cute, whatever. Well, the oddity was, like we said, but the I, age gap, yeah. too. But I did like the because result of, of the ship scene. I thought that was fun in the movie. I mean, because they had to, like, breathe through, too. They were, like, making out on a boat, and they had to yeah. stop making out to breathe <laughs> through a tube. And I then want, they didn't I even make out on a boat. I, I wanted to see those fish in the movie. Yeah, he did. He wanted to see. And then I noticed, too, and maybe that was I missed the first. Me. I missed those fish. I missed the beginning of it, but I noticed that um, what's his name, the Invisible Boy. He's not even Millard. Millard. He's not. Is he? My, I don't. In the in the movie, he's nothing. He's not even a character. Like in the book. He's, he's in the book. He's a major character. He does yeah. play a lot of roles. He, he's in the a lot he's more in the book. Down, yeah. yeah. And then another difference we were talking about is that I feel like in the, I feel like in the book. Enoch is just indifferent to Jacob, whereas in the movie he's straight up hostile to him. Yeah, he's a. Like I the, thought that he was hostile in the book. I felt like he was hostile, yes but it was more no. like, "Hey, you're gonna but leave anyway." So he gives a fuck. Yeah, like he was like, "I don't give no fucks because who cares? Like you're gonna leave anyways." But in the book, I felt like he felt like, or in the movie, I felt like he was. No, do we? Just drop some. It is what okay, it is. We're <laughs> drinking. <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> so I feel like he. I don't know. Don't you? 
I just felt like he was more indifferent and like, I don't like you very much because, yeah. or I don't care to get to know you because yeah. you're not going to well, stay. You're going to leave also, us like he did. Besides the whole, like, he seems more, like, all that contempt and stuff, like, with his uh, homunculi, like, yeah. in the in the, in the, the book, homunculi. they seem more fun and it's just something to pass the time because you're bored out of your mind yeah. for 60 plus years in this Luke, yep. to where he's just like this sadistic little bastard yeah. making them fight each other, you know? Well, I got that from the book. I don't know. I, 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 I picture him just chilling on the grass and having his toys. That's I how I, 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 sh I pictured it like that. Too. I pictured yeah. it yeah. like a kid, like like with ants in a magnifying glass. Like I, in the book, yeah, when I, I read, you know what those yeah. kind of well, represent. No. In, in the book, I did feel he thought his power was pretty cool, and he thought yeah, he no, was of course. he was well, he the shit. Shit. ego bull. But both. in yeah. the movie, he was very yeah. you know. Yeah. Towards. Like, as as a peculiarity, that, like, if I was stuck in a loop, that would be a really good one, because, you know, it would help you pass time, you know? But it depends on how you yeah. have to control them and stuff. But he has to get... Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to get into his powers, but he actually... Heart, he had to collect the yeah. heart. In the book, he collected But I thought that yeah. skeleton... That's, that's I know that hard. skeleton. I thought that was cool. The, the, yeah, well, 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 there's a big skeleton fight that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. The end cool. is, like, way different, but I didn't hate it. I thought it was fun. I mean, I like it in the book too, but I thought, as, I thought as, as a kids movie, it's. A I thought it was yeah. so. F I thought it was fun. And it with wasn't the main start. timber, Samuel L. Jackson gonna... is um, awesome as always. He's, he's so always hilarious in it. Always. He's so good. You put him in. He's so campy. My biggest problem, screen to book, was um, I feel like they brushed over the whole. Uh, Abe's parent, Abe's family got killed by Nazis in a concentration camp. That is That's the part point. that bugged me. Is I was like, come on, that gives it depth. Yeah, like when yeah. I was reading the book, I was feeling like, you know, like you know how yeah. they say like something for like everyone. Mm -hmm. Like I was thinking, if I was like a Jewish kid and I was reading this book, I'd like this is pretty cool. Like yes, yeah, you know, it was a bad time and Nazis were monsters, but like you know, like this like a fun whimsical story where you think like, yeah, yeah look at this Jewish man that like escaped the Nazis and then started fighting monsters. Yeah. Like that's kind of cool, you know. And I feel like that kind of, in the beginning, like I said, they basically skipped the first three chapters or like fast forwarded them in the movie. Um, but I feel like that's kind of at first when you weren't sure if grandpa was crazy or if the kids were real, that part of it made it seem more believable that he was crazy. So I felt like I discovered it more with Jake. So I felt like I went through Jake's journey with him more in the book because I feel like that going through that, losing your family, like, to Nazis and stuff like that, I feel like that is what kind of made you think, yeah, this dude's crazy. He's got, like, old war injuries yeah. in the head. Something well, wrong. Also creates, He's got dementia. Yeah. Like, yeah. It also makes Jake a little ethnic, too, right? Because technically, you know, Jake is Jewish. He's not just, like, the average hero in any Jewish book. People are white. Yes and no. Yeah. 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 Like he's, 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 but I don't know how Jewish of a name Portman is. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if it's like Doc Brown, how he yeah. changed his name of Portman to something longer. Well, All right. another, another odd change that they did was the therapist. Well, yeah, because I know, felt like a whole different a... sex. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know what that was I about. Guess it I guess the balance, I don't know. Yeah. It doesn't matter. No, no, it was no, just no, odd. I, I, it was odd. Cause, kind of, no, because there wasn't any women. Sorry, to step on. Yeah. But I feel like you know, people say you need to have at least a few. That's extra, like, maybe more. Like the, mo the mom wasn't really part nope. of the movie. No, they didn't. And have like her. You, instead of the friend, they had uh, like the boss, the manager driving. <coughs> so she was exactly. kind of in it for thirty yeah, seconds. Yeah, exactly. They should have just given Mrs. Peregrine more screen time. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> she was awesome. Movie. I love Ava Green. We're big Penny Green. Yeah, Ava Green is huge Penny awesome. yes. fans. We love well, her. Is it I love that she's goth yet hot. Like, I was going to say, is you, it possibly scary and sexy she's at the like, same time? You let her hit you with a yardstick, yeah. I found she's her good. hair looked awesome. I love she that She could be my black. girlfriend, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> no, it's her stare. Yeah. Girl crush. But it's her stare. Girl crush. I felt the change was so there was more women in the real world rather yeah. than in the yeah. loop. Because there's that's definitely true. plenty of women that people could be like, oh, yeah, that's you true. know, all the different young girls. But you know what's funny is I don't feel like Ransom Riggs writes like a man. I don't feel like he writes like a woman either. I feel like he's got his very unique style. Like, if you if you look at different books that have been written by men, like Percy Jackson or uh, Maze Runner or even, like, yeah, very, um, yeah, even, even The Fifth Wave, I, not even so much, but I, I just feel like Ransom writes more t for both men and women, um, which I kind of, I thought was very, I just think he writes very well. Um, 
I don't know. I just feel like he's. I feel like he did a very good job of writing to multiple ages, multiple it, yeah. races, yeah. multiple sexes. I just feel like it's a. Uh, it was very. What the hell? Uh, <laughs> Homunculus is outside. I think. You know my favorite part you about Ransom. You liked it. You liked it. Yeah, but What's your favorite no, part about like, Ransom? He's very descriptive, not to the point where it gets too like, oh my god, we can figure yeah, it out. Yeah, we're like, readers, he, we can he, figure he, it out. He builds it up. But it like it lets you build on it a lot. Like you yeah. know, like when he was talking about like when he went to go look for his grandfather behind the house at first, yeah. like I had yeah, oh, yeah. that scene in my head. That like, oh, yeah. was I was perfect. Yeah, you know, like, oh my gosh, it was so good. Like no, he's yeah. very building. I would say. Yeah. Uh, speaking of perfectly described, I thought they did a really good job with the hollows in the movie. I thought they looked awesome. I don't know. That's how I pictured them. I I didn't. I I thought more. They were Resident Evil. No, I thought more Cthulhu. Type tentacle rather than so much uh, Slender Man. I thought they looked scary for kids. I was in my brain when I they, they, they kind of look like those the 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 guys from Buffy mixed with Slender Man. Yeah, I love the gentleman. When I was That's thinking, I like <laughs> did you ever play Resident Evil? Can't even so yeah. what? So I was thinking liquors. Oh yeah. For Resident Evil. So yeah. when I read the book, I was thinking. See, liquors. that's what I said. Yeah. Resident Evil. And yeah. the whites looked awesome. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Freaking Samuel L. Jackson looks so good, yeah. and he was so good in this movie. I think, yeah, oh, my he was God. A nutcase. He's always good, but he was like, I don't know. He was. I don't know. Costume. Like I said, I felt like the the end of the movie was completely different, but it was fun. And, I mean, I would have liked to have seen more towards the book, but it wasn't un it wasn't unwatchable. Yeah, no, yeah. like I would have yeah. loved seen the whole definitely scene. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, in, in the lighthouse when yeah. they're chasing after him. All right, so choose your peculiarity. Well, who has the coolest peculiarity? Okay, Which one uh, do you uh, want? Okay, out of like, are we making up one or from? No, one? from the book. Are we stuck in a loop? I I want to say <laughs> you are stuck in a loop I'm... in 1975. <laughs> what peculiarity? I would say I'm not good with names, so a lot of the characters I'm still learning the names and stuff. But I like the invisibility. I she like wants it to be the large she's a creep. or a oh, holographic. No, creep. That's because fine. there's only you... creeps want to be invisible, but whatever. No, but, but there's stuff but, you but can But the problem is it's so that. permanent, though. Like, you'd have to smear grease paint on so people know what you look like. You, know? you, you don't know, get to but... come back. You don't get to come back. Hey, it's not a matter of come back, but, but that's it? the peculiarity. But she like, just wants to walk around naked and not feel judged. Well, that does. I do enjoy that. But was it Millard? Did Millard get killed? No, that was Hugh. Who was making out with Fiona? In the book, with the it was bees. you. Yeah, yeah, with the bees. See, they're way yeah. older. They made them like yeah. little kids. Yeah, but it was that's weird but too. Olive was but like. But see, eight. they work together. Cause yeah. I know. They he, made them he's weird. gonna cross pollinate all her flowers. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. But no, to me, that it has its yeah. plus. It definitely has its negatives, but it has its pluses. You, you know, mm -hmm. you. So I'm going to because the gun's actually to my head. In any other circumstances, I would take Bronwyn, but I'm gonna go with Emma from the book. Like the she's a fire starter. You know, I every time it's every time I read about every time she did it, I thought about Firestarter. What, nineteen eighty nine? Yeah, I love that movie, man. Yeah, Great movie. Uh, Emma's Firestarter. I mean, she was blowing her hand underwater. Like that's cool. So yeah, if I had to choose, it'd be Emma's yeah. Firestarter abilities. Not uh, all of For me, not okay. All of you guys know I love me some horror, um, and I love me some necromancy. So right away, I want to say Enoch. I knew you were gonna say Enoch. But I love, I love the idea of time travel. So I like time manipulation, so I also would want Perry Grimes to the peculiarity. So I'm going to go with Enoch. And yes, I'm morbid as shit. Yes, yeah. I like I, I thought you were going with Enoch, but then you're going to go Perry Grimes. I was, those were the two no, I was no, considering, no, 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 Enoch. but I sure. resolve Enoch. I already, knew. I already knew. But I fucking love necromancy, man. I know. Imagine you could bring back an army of the undead to fight for you, to fucking eat brains and shit. You just got to make sure you're a butcher so you have enough animal hearts on hand. Mm, I'm just going to go, yes. Like the skeleton. <laughs> I'm just gonna, yep, I feel like I can make that happen. If that I had a peculiarity batteries. that I could actually choose and not get stuck with, it has to be from the book. Though. It is from the it's book. From the book. Oh, Fiona's man. Yep. He's like, okay, and I was gonna say that, dude. Not hey, only can you like you have up. the best don't looking garden, you can make your own topiaries. But you know the real that reason? That was my first instinct. Like at first I used to think, oh, I want Enoch. You know, you could have your little army pass time. But then you gotta collect mouse hearts, lamb's hearts, whatever hearts you can that. get. Some more but, shit. Yeah, dude, more. I could build my old own Ewok fucking treehouse. That's the one thing I didn't like about the movie, how like when they had their feast, it was like giant peas. Could you imagine eating a giant pea? That would be disgusting. It's all squishy. I would, I would think she would have done like a little bit more. Yeah, because you I had the carrot and peas. I'm like, just okay. One pea to make split pea soup. 
Yeah, but could you imagine but eating they, a pea like an apple? They, oh, all, you know they all had like four peas yeah. at least. Random, <laughs> random. And a big ass piece of carrot. <laughs> not Sorry, peculiarity, guys. not peculiarity. Who's your favorite character? Whoa. Movie, I would see Mrs. Peregrine herself. A uh, book? I would say him himself, the Jacob. Jacob himself, I think, in that book. Um, in the book, my favorite character is probably no. In the book, it's probably Jacob. In the book, yeah, Jacob. In the book, he's cool. Yeah, yeah. He's fine in the book, but in the movie, he's a little douche. Yeah, I think he came into it at the wrong time. He was corny the, when I came into it, and I was like, "What? Well, this dude is horrible." Yeah, because earlier when he's like yelling at this program, and he's like, "No, Dad, I'm kidding." Like he seems like a normal kid. Yeah, he, he seems so totally. like a real kid at that point. I was like, "That's something a kid would do." Don't, don't poop on us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but in the in the movie, my favorite character, of course, is Samuel Jackson in the book. He uh, he was a surprise. He, he made me drop it. No, <laughs> like, nothing to do with this. Watch the movie, you'll understand why he created depth to that character who was actually not a main but, character. But see, right? but the yeah, problem exactly. is, it's not just, it's not a, a white, it's Samuel L. Jackson. That's, that's exactly, the problem. That's, so but that's fine funny. though. Yeah. He can play Because those anything. other ones you don't care about. Yeah, he, okay. can, play, he can play anything. Yeah, so, yeah. No, I'm saying he's you know, great actor. Yeah. Okay, for me, I guess, in the book, I would say Jacob. I think Jacob is a really good, in the book, Jacob is really well written. It's so hard to, to write a teenager, a believable teenager, and not to have them be too angsty. Like if you read Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, for example, Harry Potter is so angsty in that role that it's like so hard to get through, which is why I didn't mind the changes in that movie, which most people will kill me for because everybody's like, what? But anyway. So I like Jacob in the book, um, which is weird because I never like the main character. I, I usually mean, like the villain. Ask this yeah, guy. She does. And even if I don't like the villain, I usually like like some kind of side character. But I don't like the main character either. Usually I like but the in, yeah, yeah in the book. I really did like Jacob. Mm -hmm. In the movie, it probably uh, I don't know. It's either Miss Peregrine or Mr. White or yeah. or Samuel L. Jackson. But you know what? If I look at her as a separate entity and not as an alteration of a character in the book, I did really like Emma in the movie. I don't I would have preferred Emma to have, but as a character, honestly, by herself, I mean, she was sweet. She was hot. Yeah. She was a good she's character. Not to be sweet. That's the but problem. that's what I'm saying is if if I look at her as a separate entity, that's okay. why I said that. Right. If I compare it to the book, not. Nah. But if I look at her as a separate entity, I liked her as a character. How can you not like her? She did everything right. Yeah. On to Der Vavolfi. All right, so. You know, like, the one thing I like to, like, I'm not picking Jacob right now, but I will say one thing I loved about him in the book, like, it made his family more in depth. Like, his choice in the book to, like, either leave his family seems so much harder in the yeah, book. Yeah, like, it totally does. Like, you're like, I feel for this kid. Like, that's a hard choice. Even though yeah. you're disconnected, that's still your blood, you know? Yeah. But in the movie, it would be like, no question. You're like, okay, I'm going to help these guys out, you know, my life, whatever. Yeah, because his parents were, like, glossed but over it. The, yeah. In the book, my favorite character is Millard, Millard, you know, yeah, like, he, he is so much more in-depth, like, he has so much more, he brings humor to it, but, like, just him as a person, like, what he did, you know, remembering, writing down every scenario, like, every day, like, dictating that, like, I don't know, like, he just, like he brought so much to every situation throughout that book, you're like, he is so fucking necessary, and in the movie, he Millard. wasn't. That's, I, that I had a problem with that, because, yeah, he was yeah. a big part in the book. I, so was Bronwyn. Two big characters in the book and almost I, nothing. You know, in the I movie. feel like Bronwyn was stronger in the book than in the movie. Like she was kind of straining to push those couches in the movie she'd have been like No, well, no, I, they, no, no, no. no, no. I love Bronwyn in the movie. Yeah. She like cuz I mean, you, you guys all picking your favorite movie people. She's I like, can't yeah. think like I enjoyed everyone in the movie, but not somebody else like, yeah, that person. But it was totally hilarious when Bronwyn would be like, "Kick the couch." I said I love Brothers. her expression. She says, <laughs> she says I wave. Yeah. She, just yeah. move. You know, move and like, me. I did, I, got I, it. I hated Enoch in the movie at the beginning, but towards the end like when he fell into it, like he had his understanding somehow over seventy yeah. years. It happened right then that he understood who well, he was. But I appreciate yeah. it more. Than I him. think it was I a like... confusion with sexuality for him as well in the movie. Was it gay? <laughs> yeah. No. Maybe he wanted with, a little Abe action. Like, well, no. <laughs> yeah. With because, Olive slash Emma. Who knows? Yeah. With yeah. Olive slash Emma, who Olive was like eight in the book. 
Hey. This book Olive right here, she's like eight or six. I don't know, just yeah. saying. But Olive, you know what, Millard? I felt like Millard was almost what they were trying to pull with the knock. Okay, hold on knock now. In the movie. I feel like Millard was more hostile in the book. Hold on, do my math. 96. Let's legal. That's legal. 20 years. So, uh, Emma, the new Emma, is legal. And then, hold on, let's check. He's going to do all of them. This is MVP He's going to have a three. This is MVP life. No. no. So I'm saying Olive, age. Olive Honestly, the movie's older. Okay, I think Olive in the, the movie all of look better. So okay, this is a guy competition. Too. Guy competition. Alright, here we go. Guy talk real quick. Alright. In the movie, Emma looked better. It was kind of awkward with Emma, because I feel like they sexualized her up, but she's supposed to be a teenager. Yeah, but she had to so sexualize her up. She's hold been from yeah. past 40 years. Also, as, as a grown weird. ass man as adult, in the scene weird. where she had the wet t-shirt, I was kind of kinda like, I don't know if I can see this. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. I was waiting to see if they were gonna have to go. I was waiting to see if they were gonna have to The ocean's cold and things get I didn't see teenage. I expected that. As, and an, as, an adult man, as an adult they male, I was worried about that because as soon as they did Me that, too. I was like, why are they sexualizing this girl? Like, I made out with her. She's supposed to be a teenager. I don't feel I was worried if they were going to do that or not, but they cut. I but think this they isn't, cover this isn't up a middle well. aged book. This is a young adult. Look, yeah. Right? But the yeah. sexiest person in this book is fucking Ava, or in the movie was Ava Green. I'm sorry. I'm going to hands down. She's sexy no matter what she does. I, but, but why she He's so perverted, he would let her pick bird food out of Whatever box you need to fit me in. I'm not so going to say I'm not going to say straight, but I would do Ava <laughs> Green. <laughs> yeah. So is it unanimous everybody would do Ava Green? Ava Green! <laughs> and we're all Let's there. Let's get off my woman! Anybody have any notable quotes? There's one I really want to uh, mention, but I don't have my Kindle. Let me see it. In the movie when she was I'm like, in the movie she was, she was like, I'm lucky to have gotten through the book, and I hope to get through the next two, because I'm interested to see where the journey goes. I'm walking home with this because, tonight. Because he's already he's already found what he was asked nice. was wondering Sorry, if it's this or that. So I really want to know what where the second two books go. I guess it's just Hollow City. The second book's Hollow City, so obviously they go after the Hollows. Here's my quote. Uh -huh. Stars too were time travelers. How many of those ancient points that. of light yeah. were the last echoes of suns now dead? How many had been born but their light not yet come this far? If all the suns but ours collapsed tonight, how many lifetimes would it take us to realize that we were alone? That's, that's my quote. that's my quote, man. And, who's, and whose quote? That's uh, Jacob's. Jacob's internal monologue. I remember that quote, and I liked it, but at the same time, I was like, this guy the whole time doesn't think like that, and all of a sudden he no, but had no, this profound everyone, thought. No, everyone, no, no, every, every, anytime you're outside staring at the sky, you're you, like, you think how kind of insignificant fellow. your life actually is. Oh, yeah, is. definitely. Like, you, you're you around a thousand other people, and you think, oh, I'm the only living person here, you know? Everyone has so what? many issues in their life, every day-to-day -day thing, and you think, in the, the realm of your life, you hope you leave some trace, some significance, because mm -hmm. it doesn't fucking matter. Yep. Think of all that way out there, yeah. barely hitting you now. Yep. Think think let's rate. Book. Let's rate both the book and the movie on a, on five stars. Rate the book. No, rate the movie and then the book. Uh, the movie I will give three point five because it's quite enjoyable. It brings its own essence to it, like. The changes. If you didn't read the book and you watched the movie, you're gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be different. And then the book, fucking five stars. The fucking best kind of description. Not over descripty, just enough. And it just every character. Like, sure, there's some stuff that like you don't need to know, but you don't need to know. But everything else is fucking, mmm, fucking ransom. I need to read your two other books. But yeah, five stars. Three Love other it. Books. So, for the Banshee, I rate the movie four stars. Uh, I'm looking at it as you a separate entity. Like I, said, I like I said. I don't care. Like I said, they don't give a shit. The writers don't give a shit. If the writer doesn't give a shit, who am I to give a shit? But as a movie, wasn't it kind of rushed? I, yes, but whatever. If I but hadn't read the, the book, not? if I hadn't read the book, would I have enjoyed the movie? Yeah. There you go. But as a movie, I'm looking at it separately. As, I'm a, not as a movie, you know when it kind of seems like they jump really quick. To I give the book four stars. Ah! Wow. Where does it fall short? No, of no, no, the book's fine. The book yeah. is fine. The other one's not going to Okay, why on the book four? I don't know. It's I don't get me wrong. Four is good. Four what do you mean? Good. Four is a good movie. Why, 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 why didn't it knock reader. it out of the park? Where could he have like fucking hit your fifth star? There was. 
Can't she give four? No, I want to know why. You got to give a reason why. Where does this fall short? For I think that for me, where it fell short was I feel like there were times where I felt like there were a lot of really good characters in this book that deserved additional development that did not receive it. Book two! Yeah. I don't know. I, don't know. I, I haven't read book two. We haven't read book two. I'm, we're going to read it, whatever. We'll probably review it too, but I haven't read it yet. Maybe that will happen. But I felt like there were, like I said, additional characters in this book. Miss Peregrine being the, the prime example. I would like, I mean, it's called Miss Peregrine. Yeah. She's, she's not the protagonist, but she is the title character. I feel as though she more deserves backstory. a little bit more I get development. It. I get it. I'm gonna give the book a four too. That's why I was. You gotta start with the movie. On the movie? No, I'm gonna start with the book. <laughs> he's, gonna the, he's gonna get the movie at two. So yeah, don't. Yeah. So I'm gonna give the book a Spoiler four. Alert. I thought the book was very well written. It's it's a great book. I may have little issues with it here and there, but it's a great book. I'm gonna read. Of course, it's it's an easy read. I breezed through it within a week. I will probably finish the second and the third one probably in the next couple weeks. Okay, so the movie. The movie I'm giving like one star, and that's because I'm a nice guy. Okay. I came in late. Oh, Granted, I came in late, but I promise you, as soon as I walked in, I was like, this movie's not the right movie. He I, did have to ask me as what was the movie entity he was or watching. compared to the book. He as was not sure. As compared to the book. Okay, as a separate entity. As a separate entity, granted, but like, okay, so. I heard your ass chuckling during that last Yeah, week. I heard you laughing still, too. Ha ha ha! Samuel L. Jackson's yeah, joke. Samuel Jackson. Ha ha ha! One of the things I think is good, and this is why I gave it one star. You can watch this uh, movie on its own and not read the book and enjoy the movie. Yes. I get that. But El because, Nefo. And I get that. that. And that's fine. And that's why I gave it one star because it could stand alone. But because I read the book, I I can't get on board. It's totally different. I've never seen a book and a movie go two separate ways. I got a question. Do the Scorch Who else is feeling this gin? Me. I am drunk as shit. I am drunk as Cheers. shit. Cheers! Oh my god. <laughs> See? When the camera's on, we're getting no more. So one for the movie, four for the book. Go on. So. The movie? I would say a four. I had kids next to me that were even entertained myself. I heard them, you know, with a few different, you know, they were excited about it. So the book? I would agree with Nick. I would say a five. I'm not a big reader, but it was intriguing. It, I like I said, I'm really interested to go into the other two. Hopefully, I can. I'm just really want to know the direction. Um, it kind of sounds like it's going into just following his grandfather's footsteps, and I want to know if there's more to it than just following his grandfather's footsteps and Let's read going the from one. there. Oh, that would be fucked up. Could you imagine if Jacob and Emma had a baby and it couldn't join the loop? It had to oh. go. Banshee, Bar bring us home. Snap. I'm going to have a giveaway with some very cool items. I'm going to be doing a Miss Perry Grimes Home for Peculiar Children I giveaway like for these items. Autographed book by Ransom Riggs. A pop figure and some kind of fun and themed items. Characters. And like and subscribe pop and figure. send us a message. Tell us what you think. If you guys like, want a book, if you guys share, have a book, subscribe. you want us to read yeah. send it to us, we'll check Give it out. Give us suggestions. Yeah. The Jane. movie has uh, wet nipples that you're kind of unsure about. There you go. See? <laughs> Stop it. You're not They're legal. legal. Yeah. Yeah, but it don't, it They're don't feel legal. They're legal. I can still probably be your well, father. Fuck you. Thank you for joining us for Books and Booze with Banshee and Dweez. Thank you, Dirt Wolfie. Thank you, MMA. Thank you for joining, for us. joining us. High five. High five. Thank you, Dirt Wolfie, Do we for, have for the, the passion the that you have. Yes, we definitely have another book for. Shit. for. And if you I want me to read something weird, send it to me. I'll read it. I wish they would have elaborated a little bit on them. But I fucking love those twins. Can we talk about the whole movie? They sound like mock Okay, they sound like mock The whole movie. The twins. The twins.